Hey guys, this is Tony and we're back on the bench. And this evening, I just had to take the time to do a quick little video here uh, and talk once again about ball bearings, okay? Uh, so I've got a few other videos on the YouTube site. Uh, you can check those out when it comes to ball bearings for fishing reels, okay? This time in particular, I wanted to do a separate video uh, so we're looking here at a, a combo reel here. It's a Shakespeare Model 50. Uh, it's probably like a, a 90s vintage uh, reel, something that you would find attached to like an old ugly stick or something like that. All right, pretty common. Uh, you know, we've all seen uh, these style reels, all right? It's a single ball bearing reel in this case. And I just did a video on the disassembly of this reel. And, you know, it's... It's in pretty rough shape, right? It's got a lot of old grease, rusted screws. A lot of people would say it's not even worth working on. Well, it depends. Uh, if you have a parts uh, reel like I do, uh, which is essentially uh, the same uh, pieces and parts in this reel. This is an Encore model. Uh, it's a different spool, uh, but it's the same uh, style reel with the same components. Okay, uh, and, you know, sometimes when you have spare parts, uh, sometimes that helps, okay? But in the case of this, we want to talk about the ball bearing here, okay? So when you run your finger through here, I mean, this feels like sandpaper, okay? It, it's terrible, all right? It's all rusted and it's fused. It's very, very noisy. All right, so we want to see if we can clean it up, all right? And what we're going to do here simply is we're going to take some PB Blaster in a little small container cap here. All right, and we're just gonna soak that in there for a little bit, okay? And you can already see it's starting to loosen up, you know, that rust in there. And you can see it there at the bottom sinking already. So that just, you know, it's a testament to showing you how bad a shape, you know, this bearing is truly in, okay? It's not in the best of shape. All right, so we want that PB Blaster to do some work in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video for a little bit. We're going to come back in a few minutes, and we're going to pull it out, and we're going to see, uh, you know, what kind of shape it's in. Okay, so it's been a few minutes, and we've been letting this soak a little bit. So let's pull it on out, and let's have a look at it. You can see how dirty, you know, that stuff got, you know, quite, quite quickly. All right, so... We're just going to feel it now, okay? It feels about the same still, okay? It's still pretty rough, all right? It might be a, a smidgen better, but it's it's still very, very rough, all right? So uh, what you can do here in this case, you know, we want to clean it off. And WD-40 is a great cleaner in this case uh, for this kind of stuff. And what we'll do is we're going to put this tray here, all right, and I can still see, you know, there's quite a bit, you know, coming off of this here, you know, rust basically, all right. But we want to take, uh, you know, like a, a toothbrush here, all right, and we want to see if we can clean out these bearings here and actually see any silver at all in these bearings, all right. Sometimes bearings just have to be replaced, all right. But as I mentioned in the disassembly video of this reel, to replace just this bearing alone is probably worth more than the reel is truly worth. Uh, this reel isn't worth five bucks in its current state, all right. It's, it's in pretty rough shape, and it's going to need a lot of cleaning and a lot of love and tender care and stuff like that, okay. All right, so this is what we're talking about here. We actually want to see those ball bearings, and now you can actually see them. They're somewhat exposed, okay? We want to clean the other side now here as well, All right? This is key if you're dealing with something like this where you don't want to dump any money into it, you know, because it's simply not worth it, but you still want to revive the reel, okay? And you want to be able to use it sometime. You know, reels like this are great to have sometimes simply as a backup reel. You know, you're working the bank or something like that. You're using your favorite reel, but then something happens, you know, you bust it into a, a rock or something on accident, or, you know, all the line gets stripped off because you caught a monster fish or something, and you got nothing else to work with. You know, sometimes it's great just to put a reel like this in the bag just for emergencies alone, okay? But we don't want to dump a bunch of money into it. And yes, I've got some spare parts next to me in this bag here, but we want to see what we can do about this bearing here because, frankly, bearings are not cheap, especially good quality bearings for that matter. So, okay, but now we can actually see 
these bearings, right? And that's what we really wanted to get into was to be able to see see those bearings. All right, so now we can see them. Okay, and it's good that they're silver. That's always a good sign, but we want to continue to run our finger across this and it still feels a little rough. It's not quite as bad as it was, but there is a roughness to it still. So that's kind of a sign. That's kind of an indicator, okay, that that may not be uh, something that we want to work with. So you can hear, you can hear those bearings in there. It's probably better than it was, but it's still going to have a roughness to it, I think. So what I might do, in fact, is I might take apart this parts reel that's next to me here, and I'm going to pull out the bearing in that one, and we're going to A-B it with this one and see if it isn't, in fact, the same. Okay, so to conclude uh, this, this task, uh, it turns out that the bearing in this reel is quite a bit larger than the bearing in this one that we're currently working on here. So that answers that question, even though the reel does look the same. Uh, you know, some of these parts, I think, are the same. That crosswind gear, I do believe, is very much the same as the other one, but not all the parts are the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue to lube up this bearing and see if we can't free it up a little bit more. And uh, we're just gonna do the best we can with it because uh, uh, it, it certainly will not be worth replacing it you know, for a reel like this, okay? So we're gonna try uh, one more shot of uh, some penetrating oil and uh, we're gonna come back and see what it looks like. Okay, so we've been letting this soak with some more PB Blaster here, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of uh, Real X here, and we're just going to flood those bearings with a little bit of that, and we're going to spin this here. You can hear it spin, but I can tell you right now I'm not feeling that, that roughness like it once had. There might be just a little bit left in there, but it's not nowhere near as close as it was. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to burn up this, this uh, bearing in the remainder of its life, essentially, all right, because we don't want to be dumping money into this. I do have a, uh, a few other extra parts that I want to try to swap out with this that are, you know, interchangeable. So uh, having said that, uh, that is how you can, uh, you know, work on a ball bearing, you know, for a reel such as this, uh, you know, when you don't want to go spending extra money uh, just to get a little bit more life and a little bit more uh, longevity out of that bearing. So I hope that's helpful. And thanks again for watching. This is Tony with Back on the Bench. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please make sure you do subscribe and hit the notification button. That way you will get all the updates as to when there are new videos being posted. And I'm going to have quite a few more coming out here shortly. So stay tuned for those and we'll see you next time.